Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We've learned from the sheriff in Kingsbury County that one person was shot and killed at a home in Arlington on Sunday morning. Kingsbury County is located between Huron and Brookings. Sheriff Steve Strandy tells Kelloland News that there is no threat to the public and the DCI is in charge of an investigation. We're also following a developing story we first brought you on Kelloland Weekend News. The Oglala Sioux Tribe Department of Public Safety says a homicide happened in the Porcupine area late Saturday night or early Sunday. One person of interest in the case, Trey New Holy Frog, has been arrested. Authorities are still looking for another person, Trayvon Spard Spotted Eagle. If you have information, you are asked to call dispatch at 605-867-5111. A Harrisburg man is facing charges in connection to a pursuit near T last week. Late Wednesday night, the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says deputies tried to stop a pickup for speeding and running stop signs. The pickup kept going. The pursuit went through T, Lennox and Harrisburg. The pickup eventually stopped and the 35-year-old driver ran on foot. Deputies searched the area but were unable to find him. Then on Friday, deputies saw him driving a different vehicle near the Harrisburg exit and pulled him over. He was arrested for aggravated eluding and other charges. And hot temperatures made fighting a weekend fire difficult for crews in Rapid City. The Rapid City Fire Department says firefighters were called to the 3200 block of Broadmoor Circle around 5 o'clock Sunday evening for reports of a propane tank that exploded. On scene, they found a grill had caught fire and spread to a porch and attic on the back side of a home. The fire was quickly put out. Crews had to take extra water breaks due to the heat. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Going to be another warm one today and getting warmer throughout the week, Scott. Well, you know, temperatures will remain above average. We'll bring these numbers probably in the 80s and 90s for today. Many locations in South Dakota will hit that. A uh, possibility for a 100 degree heat today in Phillip. Now, a little cooler in the Minnesota and Iowa. Notice how the temperatures there, probably in the 70s to near 80 degrees. I'll have more details on a Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. The new police chief of Brookings says he hopes to live up to the expectation and legacy that the department has already earned within the community. Michael Drake comes to Brookings from New York State and has nearly 30 years of law enforcement experience. I started out as a local dispatcher in my hometown, putting myself through college, uh, working midnights in my local police department, being a volunteer fireman in my local town, uh, an emergency med medical technician, and then I was a local police officer for almost a year in a small village in upstate New York, and then becoming a New York State Trooper. Drake says he'll also work closely with the Brookings County Sheriff's Department and University Police at SDSU to ensure the community remains a safe place to live. People from all over South Dakota are making their way to Huron for the South Dakota State Fair. There they can find an addition serving beers only from South Dakota breweries. It's called the Tap House. It's similar to the wine pavilion next door, which only serves South Dakota wines. It's not even beginning to give a, a, a sampling of what we have available in this state. And it's the reason I do this job is I'm very passionate about our South Dakota wineries. The South Dakota State Fair wraps up today. Kelloland's Carter Schmidt will be there. And you can find his coverage tonight on Kelloland News. And the Fall Festival is back in Harrisburg. The annual event features apple picking, a corn pit, apple shooting, and an 11-acre corn maze, to name a few activities. Attendee Aaron Schwartz says this is his second year bringing the family to the event. We're actually from Rapid City, and we don't have a uh, uh, apple orchard there, and so we come down here and visit our family in Sioux Falls and go to, this is now year two of us coming. The event at the Apple Orchard is every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, now until the end of October. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Mudd. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Labor Day. Uh, we are looking at dry skies for today. Uh, areas of fog this morning, but as we do make our way through the late morning hours and into the afternoon, futurecast bringing back mostly clear skies. And I think that is a trend that will continue for this evening, tonight, 
and tomorrow as we continue to watch our temperatures warm. We'll have stronger southerly winds for today. Some of these wind gusts approaching 30 miles per hour or more. We'll get a break from the wind for tomorrow, but it will come back Wednesday, Thursday, and for some of us on Friday. Here's Wednesday's winds from the south. Wind gusts 30 miles per hour or more. Even stronger on Thursday ahead of this cold front. Now the front will bring in northerly winds to western South Dakota. That will eventually sweep into eastern Kettle Land as we hit Friday, and that will also bring in a chance for some much needed rainfall. This is Friday morning on the European model trying to show some rain in western South Dakota. Now this will slowly move to the east as we hit about midday on Friday and we'll watch for our afternoon showers or isolated thunder showers in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land come Friday. Now the American model delays this about 24 hours. It pushes it back to the first half of the weekend on Saturday, but more or less it shows the same idea here, trying to bring in that rain chance first across western and central South Dakota and then eventually moving it into eastern Kettleland. Rainfall amounts on the European model for Friday showing around a half inch or more in western South Dakota, and then the numbers do drop off in the eastern Kettleland at a couple of hundredths to maybe a quarter of an inch, and of course those numbers can change. Temperatures for today will be warm to downright hot. We'll see our numbers in the 90s in central and western South Dakota. 70 and 80 degree heat in eastern Kettle Land. And you can always check the details of the seven day forecast while you're here online. Have a great Labor Day.